so students we have started with the oxidation state let us see this question which is quite common in your uh, t block element that is your 3d series you picked up in 3d series so specifically your 3d series tabular column is given in your textbook 4d and 5d is not given but most of the questions will be asked from 3d series only right so let us read the, uh, see this question how to answer and how to put it in bullets also right so what did they ask us explain the following stability of plus 2 oxidation state okay now when I, whenever I see the oxidation state of D block elements, right, that is your 3D series, they are showing variable oxidation states. So what is the reason first? Because of the <coughs> presence of N minus 1 D electrons, correct? First, we, we very well know the variable oxidation states. Right now we have n minus one d one two okay, let us write one to ten and your n is zero to two. So because of this presence of d, it, first it removes electrons from here. After that, it has also the possibility of vary or possibility of removing electrons from d. That's the reason it's going to show variable oxidation state. See how are the variable oxidation state? If I have to start from scandium plus three, it's going two, three, four. When I come down vanadium till five, chromium till six, my manganese till seven maximum. Then iron again this co cobalt four in this. Now what ha what is observed? They are asking us to speak only in terms of plus two oxidation state, right? So when I have to go with the first series, now let me speak about the still here because this is the break point. Now till seven again it started decreasing, isn't it? Now let me take as the first uh, series here and let me go with the second series, not second series, not four D series, the second set, first set and second set. So when I have to speak in terms of first set. <coughs> that is from your scandium to your manganese and second set let me uh, speak or write in terms of ife to zinc so iron to zinc so what are you observing from the first set <coughs> that you are uh, able to observe higher oxidation state you see what did i mark i've marked all these are stable oxidation states very stable oxidation state so uh, what am i trying to explain in the first set of series compared to plus two the higher oxidation states are more observed right so let us write that in first set scandium to manganese higher oxidation states are observed in your higher oxidation statements for all these they are stable enough yes that now when i am proceeding down to the lower uh, the second set what are you observing in fe plus 2 is stable cobalt plus 2 is stable uh, nickel plus 2 is stable copper plus 2 is stable zinc plus 2 is stable so in lower end of the series plus 2 oxidation state is more stable right so now why what is the reason they're asking us so reason is suppose if i take this iron now if I, this is 3d6 4 is 2 isn't it suppose if i take out two electrons what is it left with 3d6 fine now that 3d6 electron how is it it is unpaid i accept that but if i if i'm trying to take out one electron from here further then it becomes fe plus 3 this d electron then becomes 3d5 that is stable yes or no yeah so that stability or that d5 electronic configuration can be attained by overcoming the nuclear attraction from here means the nucleus is trying to drag the electrons d electrons yes so this inner dn minus one is very strongly pulled by the nucleus so what does it prefer first it tries to prefer plus two then comes back to plus three yes not can't go till plus seven right now let us come back and see for co when i uh, see for co here again plus two yes so this becomes 3d7 it becomes difficult for me i have to apply extra energy ionization enthalpy to pull this electron because it is closer to the nucleus let us come back to nickel here it is plus two and done removed how many are left again it has d8 electron that is dragged by the nucleus so it first prefers plus two and then goes to plus three then goes to plus four but preferred first is plus two when i have to go to copper <coughs> one is one here if i have to see uh, your copper <coughs> s1 electron gone then it attains 3d10 stable configuration yes now if I have to compare that in aqueous solution, 
compared to three Cu plus and Cu plus two. Cu plus two is more stable because of the disproportionation reaction which it shows, which I explained in one of the question. So Cu plus two is more preferred because of this disproportionation reaction. It gets oxidized and reduced in the same reaction. Now when I come to zinc, it's going to remove two electrons and attain stable D10 configuration. So what am I trying to explain all these? I'm trying to explain when in D block element, when I when I go from left to right, basically it is left to right, isn't it? The plus two oxidation state becomes prominent. Why? Because of the inner D electron which are pulled by the nucleus, Z effective is more high in uh, the higher uh, this, this particular uh, elements and that's why it tries to prefer plus two state only. So more stable due to an inner D electrons uh, what do you say they um, uh, yeah they uh, experience right they experience they experience higher nuclear charge a nuclear charge what is this this is z effective so that is the reason here higher oxidation state and this is lower oxidation state right now one more important thing you have to remember plus 2 and plus 3 oxidation state whichever are showing are always ionic compounds they form ionic compounds when it is higher oxidation state that is your 5 6 and 7 all these so higher oxidation states are always they're going to always form covalent compounds remember this concept please right uh, this is very important when we do certain more uh, certain compound just keep this in mind as of now when i apply this into certain compounds you will understand the concept 